Hi, I'm Jenny Brendel here for MCM Buzz TV and I'm joined by Chris Rankin who uh, played Percy Weasley in the Harry Potter films. Welcome to MCM Expo Thank you very much. How are you enjoying it so far? So far, so good. Um, I've only been doing one day at this convention so it's, um, it's, it's an early Sunday morning for me Sunday. but it's, um, it's, it's been busy already so that's great. And there's lots of people in costume today because you've got the cosplay masquerade this afternoon. Um, how, how are you finding everyone dressed up? Do you know what, I'm completely used to it now. I've been doing uh, this for yeah. 12 years so, um, <laughs> so yeah, it was, it was strange the first few times because you think, wow, these people have dedication in their lives. Um, but no, it's great. I love it. It adds variety to the day. It's a good way of putting it, yeah. I think. That's great. And uh, there's quite a lot of people dressed in Hogwarts robes. I haven't seen one yet. Have you not? not? Yet. Okay, no. well, they are around. I've seen, I've just seen a guy with a Hogwarts crest tattooed onto his chest. An actual tattoo? Yeah, yeah, a real one. That's quite. That's dedication, <laughs> yeah. My word for the day. Yeah, yeah. And um, so going back to Harry Potter, it's been a year now since the last film came out, nearly. Um, how are you overwhelmed by the response of the last film and how well it's done? Do you know what I am? I was in America at a convention actually when the um, last film came out. So my first my first time I saw the film was in a cinema in America with three thousand Harry Potter fans, and I have to say it was uh, very overwhelming. Um, yeah, I mean they've been they've been with us since day one, and they're probably one of the most dedicated fan groups I I know I've ever come across, and and they're lovely, you know they're really genuinely lovely people. So it's nice to meet the fans. The it's process. great to meet the fans because to be honest, I started as a Harry Potter fan before I was in Harry Potter, so uh, like a few of us actually, there's a few of us who are proper Harry Potter geeks <laughs> at heart underneath it all. So so yeah, no, it's um, I'm one of them. So being a Harry Potter fan yourself, you must have read the books. Well. And I know Percy's character, he sort of finally sort of comes back and he has his in, a, in a big way. Were you pleased to read those? I was delighted. Well, I found out a good few years earlier, actually, because in um, Order of the Phoenix, the fifth book, Percy um, is not a nice man at all. He abandons his family and runs off to the ministry, and the Weasleys hate him, basically. And I started getting hate mail. For, no, for the character, really? yeah, for the character, not for me, but for <laughs> Percy. So like, why would you do this? Why would you do this to your family? Uh, and when I went to the premiere for the third film, um, I bumped into Joe Rowling and said, "Look, I'm getting hate mail, and it's your fault." And she said to me, she literally, she walked past me and she said, "Don't worry about it. He'll redeem himself eventually." So, um, oh, like, that's oh, good. Okay. So you're like, yeah. Okay. So I knew, I kind of knew it was coming, that's but good. I didn't know what was happening. So when it actually happened. When it actually happened. Yes. Finally! Finally redeemed us that. That's fantastic. And the, the Water Brothers Studio tour started yesterday. It did, yeah. Um, have you been? I was there yesterday. Really? Yeah, that's why I wasn't here yesterday. Oh, I was at the um, grand opening last night. One of our reporters was actually there yesterday oh, as well. So probably spoke to them. Spoke I think, to him. Actually, I think I did, yeah. 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 <laughs> and um, how was it for you? Was it yeah, do you think, it was weird. Um, weird? It was brilliant. It's an amazing, amazing tour. Um, but it's a bit like going back to the house you grew up in and somebody's turned it into a museum. Because um, right, yeah. you know, I spent eleven years, at least seven or eight months of the last eleven years, at that place. Mm -hmm. I know it like the back of my hand, and you know it's weird to think because it's just for me. It's work. Some people go into the office at work, and that's their work. Yes, yeah. That place was my office, it and to be an elaborate set. It does, <laughs> yeah. So, so to see people kind of gawking at it and stuff, it, you kind of forget that. This means so much to everybody else, you know, it's just where we worked really, yeah. but it's, it's an incredible place. Are you looking forward to what people have to say about it? Yes, yeah, it's, um, and I'm looking forward to going back actually. Um, Are you going back soon? I, I don't know, um, I might go back in, um, in the summer with um, my mum's school, she's taking a school oh, trip, fantastic. so I might pop along with them to have a proper look. I'll enjoy that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, um, and also because we were doing all the press and everything, we missed a few bits and I wanna, there's a few yes, things I want to see. Yeah. And to be honest, I want some more butter beer, so. What is it like? The it's really stuff? nice. I've heard that it's really different because they have it in America at the theme park. I've heard, yeah, yeah. um, heard it was different and not as good over here, but mm. it's, it's exactly the same. What's I don't it know taste what like? Curious, because it sounds disgusting. It's, well, nobody really knows. No, it's kind of like kind of a butterscotchy sort of okay. slush puppy-ish thing with some kind of cream soda in it. Non-alcoholic. Non-alcoholic, okay. yeah, but it's really nice. Um, okay. Probably full of horrific E numbers, but it's lovely. <laughs> but it's no, nice. it's not. It's completely natural. <laughs> That's brilliant. And um, what have you got planned for the future? What's coming up next for yourselves um, that you can give us? No, there's a few interesting things coming that I can't say much about at the moment because I, I, they're not sort of set in stone. Um, I'm shooting on a film at the moment called Gracie, which is a little sort of urban independent thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I film on that this week, and I'm doing a couple of stage things locally in Wales where I live. 
Um, just taking it easy, really. Getting married in January, so I've got a lot of planning to do. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of planning to that for that to do. That's that's kind of the that's my nine to five job at the moment is fretting about guest numbers and things. So <laughs> you've got quite a few people to invite from uh, your last job. Uh, not a, no, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, half my friends are people in Harry Potter, and the other half are Harry Potter fans. So we're oh, trying to diplomatically yeah. work that one out a bit. So yeah. well, good luck with that. Thank, and you. thank you very much for talking to me. Pleasure. Thank, thank you. you.